welcome to this video on playing Moscow Cluey or something. I'm sorry, I'm having a little snack here. <laughs> um, the Grunfeld, maybe h4. Hmm. Okay, it's going for the solid line with c6. Yeah, black is black is very solid here. H4 is um, not a particularly great move in this structure, of course. Well, I would rather have it on H3, but okay, it's um Slav exchange type of position, and um, it's certainly okay for white. Um, it surprises me a bit. Was d5 such a weakness that you need to spend <clears throat> a move on that? Um, not sure. Okay, maybe maybe go here. At least now with e6 played, he cannot really take on e5, <clears throat> as it sets up this pin 95 d e5 h6 maybe mm, okay yeah h4 is always very irritating and yeah, this is move <laughs> this move is on the board Still, maybe I should just castle here, or take and then castle. You can try after b takes, which I'm expecting. After b takes, um, I can play castle so that c5 can be answered with um, knight a4. Yeah, it's nothing, <clears throat> nothing great really. Oh, now this I didn't expect. Okay, I thought that this might be not <clears throat> that great because it feels like I'm I'm gaining some time here. Now I'm threatening. Um, okay, now I'm threatening. I thought Bishop F six ninety four, but here of course um, <clears throat> this is not um, not doing anything great. Um, I can play Queen B five. <clears throat> Maybe threaten to take a knight b5. Huh? It's still very little. Very little is um, probably too um, too positive. There's basically nothing happening. Yeah, the bishop on g5 can easily turn out to be offside. So I'm going to take it on f6 and knight. Yeah, we have knight against bishop, but the, the pawn structure is very symmetrical. It's not um, a very favorable normally for the, for the bishop's side. Okay, take here. And uh, what now? Queen f3, knight e2, maybe. Gaining a tempo on the bishop, and then knight e2 to get um, to be a bit quicker on the c file. Yeah, of course, it's a very, very equal position. I wonder if I can do something here. Mm, there's some way to make any headway, even knight f4, maybe something. Rook c8, though. 
just um, adjust the trade. Queen g3, something I cannot really enter there. Yeah, that's really nothing, nothing great possible. Yeah, exchange queen f6, but it's really nothing, nothing going on. Maybe here. Yeah, uh, you start with such an enterprising looking line with h4, and then you get this, <laughs> this, this boring position. Yeah, it's just um, not much happening. Um, I wonder if I can do something, something with this with the queen and knight against the bishop. G four, G five, something. It's probably not very realistic. Maybe knight to f3 to queen b5 at some point. Yeah, it's still equal. There's not much, not much else to be said about it. Mm, can I do something? G4, g5 is probably not great. Mm. Time warning. This? I'm not sure. I don't want to sit around all the time. It's probably probably the right uh, would be the right way to go about it. Oh, interesting. The end game. Knight against bishop. He's got some pawn weaknesses. Nothing serious, but. Still about equal, I believe. Uh, that can be can be tricky. Can be tricky. Uh, with the G pawn, need to try to quickly get rid of all the pawns. He's got the he's got the right bishop here. Check. That's the that's a very big problem. Mm. 
White no. orchids on time. Ah, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> ah, this feels bad. I mean, this endgame is somewhat worse for me, but I shouldn't lose it. Uh, what did I do wrong here? course yeah I should play b4 yeah the thing is I was irritated by bishop e1 I thought okay I cannot move the knight but I don't need to I can just move the a pawn something like this and then b5 yeah this this, this is a draw this is a draw really ah, so I, I should do that and again b4 always bishop e1 I thought yeah, the king and pawn endgame is no problem, of course. Uh, this is terrible. This is a terrible move. King e2 was just terrible. And probably losing. Ah, oh, this was bad. Yeah, here, this is a fairly straightforward draw because I can, I can just move my pawn. And, and this is no, no problem. I can stop one pawn easily. Ah, terrible play. Yeah, I was always irritated by bishop e1, and I, I simply forgot that, or I didn't, I didn't really realize that he uh, does not threaten to take the knight. Yeah, this is this is now lost. He enters with the king. I have no way to stop that. Yeah, or this. Yeah, this is the same thing. Now I cannot move the pawns and the g-pawn will run. And he's got the right color, the right color bishop. From a practical sense, maybe I shouldn't play e4, but I uh, wanted to, to do something. Oh, knight e5 is of course strong. Oh, what a terrible game. It gets worse and worse. I really shouldn't look at this anymore. <laughs> uh, I didn't see anything in this in this, this bloody game. Here white is just better, of course. c5, knight d7. He must take. And this is a very favorable end game. Maybe it's even winning for white. With the space advantage, the two weaknesses. And they have several... Tempi in reserve. Two e four. Hmm. Am I winning or not? No, oh, maybe it is just a draw. With c five, king coming to d five. Probably just a draw. Okay. Thanks for watching.